Hey, hello, welcome to the how to squish a straw bale process video. Here we're gonna go over toe up, compression, trim, smash, stake, and tie down. Let's get started. Here you can see the toe up detail. We've got from the two by four wall, which has cellulose insulation and netting on it. We've got a treated two by four, some rigid foam, and then two more two by fours that are treated. This provides a nice place for the straw bales to sit on. Here's the first row of straw bales that we've got. This is the straw bale squisher. So we are using this to compress the straw bales a little bit more, um, just so that they're more compact. We're typically taking out 10 to 15% of the length, so they're that much more compact. Sometimes we also need to do a half of a straw bale, so it's very helpful for that. Here's a quick demonstration of how to use this straw bale squisher. I built this straw bale squisher basically just based on a picture that I found on the internet. It's very jerry-rigged up. But there you saw me putting some string around the straw bale. Put the straw bale in place, take out the uh, thing that holds the lever up. If there's not going to be enough compression, sometimes I'll put pieces of wood in between the straw bale and the squisher. We use a ratchet strap right here to hold it down, keeping it compressed. And then you can sit right in the middle. You see the original lines, those yellow strings are pretty loose. The new orange string is being tied like this, basically just making a pretzel knot on the top string. And there that is. And then with the bottom piece, you string it through that knot you just made and cinch it down, pull it and cinch it, and then tie three pretzel knots. There's the pull down, and pinch it to cinch it, and then tie three more knots. Here I'm tying the other nine while I am. Just gonna say that this is a straw bale project here in Columbia, Missouri. A highly insulative material straw bales can be. This project has not only cellulose insulation in between the stud frame, but then also the straw bale. So the insulative power should be quite high. There you can see that those orange strings are fairly tight, even before releasing the compression. We're at three minutes. Cut the excess string off and away we go. And you can see that the yellow strings are Incredible. now a little bit loose. Yay. Boink. Yeah. Like I said, you can put an extra piece of wood over top of the straw bales. And this is an example of how to make some half straw bales. You just string two halves up and compress it. Here's where a half straw bale would go, right on the end. After we 
compress the straw bales, we trim them up with a chainsaw or weed whacker could also work. Depending on your wall details, you might need to make a notch in a straw bale in a certain way, but this just ensures that they're all nice and square. You want to use square Legos rather than wonky Legos. Just getting all sides, make it nice and flat. Then we take it, step on them. They've usually got a little bit of a noodle bend in them on one side or the other. Once we do that, we stick them in place and smash them down. After they're smashed, we stake it to connect the layers of straw bales. Here right next to the stake, you can see string that we have strung up. Not only do we stake it, but we tie the string. Here you can see the orange represents string coming from the wall, and we tie that to the straw bales just to hold them in place. It's also quite important to stuff all the cracks and crevices behind and underneath and between all the straw bales to fill in those gaps, those air gaps that are naturally going to be there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.